today is finally the day. I am reading Some Things I Still Can't Tell You by Misha Collins. I am so excited. Every single review I have seen of this, granted it's been retweeted by Misha, but has been fantastic. I am so excited to read it. just open to the title page but I'm so proud of him how was the dedication to Weston Mason making me tear up already this is like we haven't even gotten to the poems yet there's 40 pages of love poems I am not gonna survive this first one that's made me cry, These Hours, which I think is one that he shared in one of his videos, but it was still just as impactful. There is so much deep love and aching and longing and remembrance and reverence in these poems. They are beautiful. It is harder to read these knowing who they're about and where they're at now. Which honestly just makes it all the more amazing to share and to gift. Like I thought when we found out, and I still think now, that there's the love that existed and exists is not something that is not true anymore. And sometimes broken things are still beautiful. <sighs> okay, let's hope the poems about running <laughs> are easier to handle. That section was good, but now we have longing, sadness, running, and foreboding, and I am fearful again. I just read These Days. He is very good at sharing sadness, and not many people are. The second to last poem is Mason's I wish for this story and I mean knowing that I mean it's been probably at least five years ago now that that happened that he shared that story and that it's now in his poetry book and there's just something about that that I love
there are a lot of little life moments that he talks about in this book. And on being able to recognize them and to really feel them. But a lot of these moments he talks about um, like as that he's noticing them like only upon reflection later. One thing that poets do and that poetry can do for those who read it is to serve as reminders that these moments happen every day. And the reminder to be mindful of them and to actually live them in the moment Because that's, those are the beautiful parts of this book, of seeing and feeling those moments, even if they are upon reflection. I don't think it's that poets see things that we don't. I think it's that they describe things in ways that we don't notice. And Misha does that very well. I loved the feeling and the heart and the joy and the sadness and the presence and the loss and there is so much in here I along with everyone else recommend it so highly I would gift yourself this book read it slowly take it in and share it thank you Misha